In this video, we'll take a look at building a page real quick with Dreamweaver. So I have the insert panel here over on the right-hand side, and you can see that it's organized in a specific way. It has your typical HTML elements going down here, and then a set of HTML5 elements that we talked about before. We have some head section items, like script and uh, email link and things like that. And then we have some HTML5 um, media items. Then there's some miscellaneous items down here in the bottom. So let's take a look and I'm gonna focus on this section right here, which is probably the most useful. In addition to this insert panel, you also have an insert menu, which has all the items that you need. Uh, for, so for example, if you wanted to insert a form, all of the form elements are located here. Uh, there's Bootstrap components if you're using Bootstrap, uh, jQuery items. Um, so most of the items that you need are in the insert menu as well. So we can quickly do things like, for example, I started off with the body, but I don't have a main. So let's say, for example, I want the main to start first. So I'm going to select the items that are in the body. Then we're going to click on main. And it's going to ask me, how do I want to insert this? Do I want to wrap it around? Do I, after the start of the tag, before the end of the tag? All right, so I'm going to wrap around the selection. If I want to add an additional class to this, I can add the class right here or an ID. And I can create a new CSS rule for that. So I'm just going to click OK on that. So now the main wraps around here. And that's what I want. So the main is going to be my main container. And then I'm going to wrap this section in a header tag. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to do header. And again, I'm going to wrap that around the selection because that's my header elements. So you can see that does that. And then moving down, if I want to add another element. So for example, I'm going to add a section. And if I want to add a class to the section, maybe this is called info and I'll click OK. So it automatically adds the class and it builds um, this default content in here. And inside that section, I could add other items. Uh, but let's say that we have three sections in the page. So I can go down, I can click another section. Uh, maybe this one is uh, uh, products and click OK. And then one more section below that. And we'll give this a class of um, services and click OK. And then at the bottom here, I want to add a footer. So I'll add a footer. And no need to add anything for that. So the content for the footer, all this um, dummy text that it gives you. You can highlight that and you can replace it with whatever it is you want. Uh, here I'm just replacing it with some on HTML entity 2021 web design. And then you can save your, your changes. And notice that this um, the document structure is here, but this, the styling is not here. So um, another thing we can do if we want to add in content and we want to do it uh, quickly is we can use a feature called Emmet, which is built in. Emmet is a um, quick way of adding code. I'm going to just hit return here to break up this section. And I want to add in some code here. And what Emmet allows you to do is it allows you to put strings of text together that represent specific tags and then you can hit the tab key, and it'll generate all that code for you. So just for an example, I'm going to type in P because I want a paragraph tag here, followed by this uh, forward bracket, and then A for an action tag. And if I hit the tab key, it's going to create a paragraph tag with an action tag in it. And I can type in uh, a web address here. And then I can put Google. 
and you notice that it, that generates a link. Um, there's more about Emmet online, but um, there's different ways that you can work with the code in here. Notice one nice feature in Dreamweaver. Let me do this again. So if I type in the same sequence and hit tab, um, if I start typing in an address, notice that uh, this browse comes up. So if I click browse, uh, it could browse to, let's say that I wanted to link this to another page in my site. I don't have another page, but that's how you would be able to create a link to another page on the site. So there are hints in here that help you with the code as you're coding. There's uh, the line numbers on the left, uh, and then there's the code on the right. And then one thing that Dreamer is constantly doing is validating your code. So this green check mark means right now that I have no errors and it's validating the code as I build it.